Welcome to Tour Afric and today we are counting down top 10 best places to visit in Ghana. Are you a fun of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Tour Afric and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Ghana is a beautiful cultural filled country located in the western part of Africa. It is a small country that has impressive tourist sites to show the world. This African country is considered to be one of the more stable ones as well when it comes to democracy and gradual development. Ghana is also regarded as one of the most peaceful countries in the world, with a country that has citizens full of hope and joy. With its sunny beaches, lively cities, friendly people, and easy methods of traveling around the country, Ghana is a great place to visit for tourists. There are 16 regions in Ghana, but it is mainly divided into the northern and southern parts. There are beautiful places in Ghana in almost every area. Number 10. Kakum National Park. Considered the nation's park, Kakum National Park is a destination that every tourist must see. It has an area of 145 square meters and is located on the coast of southern Ghana, specifically the central region of Ghana. The park is home to many endangered animals as well, especially mammals like antelopes and elephants. The park also has a canopy walk that is suspended about 30 meters above the ground. The canopy walk can sometimes be scary if you are trying it for the first time, but if you have a sense of adventure, it shouldn't be a problem. It provides a view above the trees and allows you to appreciate the surrounding nature. Number 9. Bodhi Falls. Waterfalls always attract people from all over the country and around the world, and Bodhi Falls is no different. Located in the eastern region of Ghana, 17 kilometers northeast of Koforidjua, is a Ghana attraction with a history. Bodhi Falls is an integral part of Ghana. According to history, Bodhi Falls is a twin waterfall, specifically male and female which represents the upper and lower falls. The locals believe that when the volume of water from the falls becomes high, it means the two falls are mating, so a mating ceremony is organized. A rainbow is usually formed during the ceremony when there is a continuous splashing of water. Number 8. Lake Volta. The Volta region is the least visited region in Ghana, even though it has quite a few tourist sites like mountains, waterfalls, and lakes to offer. Lake Volta is located in this region and is the largest artificial lake in the world. With a surface area of 8,502 square kilometers, Lake Volta flows around the whole country. The prominent lake is contained by the Akasumbo Dam and used to provide transportation. It also generates electricity for the people of Ghana. Volta Lake sustains a serene environment that allows you to feel free and release stress. Number 7. Aburi Botanical Gardens. Since Ghana is located in Africa, the country and nature benefit from the warmer climate, making the Aburi Botanical Gardens one of the most attractive sites in Ghana. The gardens were officially opened in March 1890 and are located in the town of Aburi, hence its name, which is about 30 kilometers north of Accra in the eastern region of Ghana. The gardens have a land size of 160 acres, with 157 acres reserved and the 3 acres developed into basic infrastructure. Visiting the Aburi Gardens is a calming journey that can take your mind off the stress you might be going through in life. Because it is approximately a 45-minute drive from Accra, you can easily travel here to have a picnic with your family and enjoy what nature has to offer. Number 6. Mole National Park. Located in the northern part of Ghana, Mole National Park is the habitat of endangered species like elephants, roan antelope, and a few rare birds. 
As this national park has a land size of 4,840 square kilometers, it is one of the most suitable places to visit when you want to explore nature. This park was the first park reserved by Ghana to conserve wildlife. It protects over 300 bird species, 94 mammals, and several other wildlife creatures. Number 5. Labadi Beach. When you visit Accra, you will find that the coastline is full of popular beaches that are great places for relaxation and entertainment. Labadi Beach, popularly known to Ghanaians as La Pleasure Beach, is one of the busiest beaches on the coast of Ghana and is maintained by the Labadi Beach Hotel and La Palm Royal Beach Hotel. If you are in Accra for a business trip, and if you are looking for some relaxing things to do in Ghana, then Labadi Beach could be the place for you to sit back and relax in your spare time. During the weekends, people crowd the beach to enjoy themselves, playing games, horseback riding, and dancing to loud music in the background. If you are the quiet type, the weekdays are the best time for you to relax at Labadi Beach. Number 4. Wheelie Waterfalls. When you desire a serene place to visit so you can have a pleasant, relaxing time, then the best landmark to see is a waterfall. In the Volta region of Ghana, a five-hour journey when driving from Accra, you can find Agumatsa Falls, also popularly known as Wheelie Waterfalls. Wheelie Falls is recognized as the highest waterfall in Ghana and West Africa, making it a top tourist site and one of the most beautiful places to visit in Ghana. You can engage in lots of activities when you visit the Wheelie Waterfalls. For example, you can choose to relax by enjoying the flow of the falls or by swimming in the water. If you want to challenge yourself, you can go hiking with a guide to the top of the falls. At the top of the falls, is the Shrine of the Lesser Gods, which is believed to have been brought from Togo by the village ancestors. Number 3. Larabonga Mosque. The Larabonga Mosque is the oldest in Ghana and is located in Larabonga, in the northern region of Ghana, Savannah region. It was built in 1421 and is usually referred to as the Mecca of West Africa. Due to the mosque's rich history, it currently features on the World Monuments Fund's watch list of 100 most endangered sites. The mosque was inspired by the Sudanese architectural style and made with mud and sticks. Because of its rich history, it is one of the most popular tourist spots in Ghana. The history behind the mosque and how it was constructed is still a mystery. A story is told that a Muslim named Ayuba built the mosque. He was traveling through the area and needed to rest. When he fell asleep, he dreamt about building a mosque, and after waking up, the foundation had been set, so he completed it from that point. This is the place to be if you are a religious person and want to see one of the most important sacred sites in Ghana. Number 2. Cape Coast Castle. The Portuguese constructed this castle on top, just like the Elmina Castle, but this one was erected in 1555. The castle was built for trading in precious gold but was also later used for slavery. During that time, Ghana was called the Gold Coast because there was gold everywhere in the country. This is what lured the Portuguese to come here, and later on, the British. The Cape Coast Castle is one of the sites to visit when you are in the central region. You can go to the Door of No Return, which is one of the features of the castle with an interesting history. It is believed that the colonial masters transported the slaves from the castle to the ships through this door. No slave has come back alive after undergoing this experience. Properly exploring this place will inform you about the impact of slavery on Ghanaians. Number 1. Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park and Mausoleum. Kwame Nkrumah is remembered as one of the most outstanding African leaders in the world. He led Ghana to gain independence from its colonial masters, 
Britain, on 6 March, 1957. The Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park and Mausoleum was dedicated in 1992 to Dr. Kwame Nkrumah to commemorate his life and work after his death. Located in Accra, the capital of Ghana, the mausoleum serves as the final resting place of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah and his wife, Fatia Nkrumah. You can also find rare artifacts related to the independence of Ghana here. Visiting the Kwame Nkrumah Mausoleum and Memorial Park will enlighten you on the in-depth history of how Ghana gained independence. I highly recommend you visit. If you enjoyed the content of this video, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you can receive more content like this every week.